On November 8, 1942, the Allies launched Operation Torch, the invasion of French North Africa. More than 100,000 British Commonwealth, free French and American troops, supported by three naval task forces, landed at Algiers and Oran in the Mediterranean and along the Atlantic coast of Morocco. Torch would be the first major operation by the United States against the European Axis powers in World War II. It was also the first time US airborne troops would see combat. News cameras were there to document the action. Fifteen hundred miles from England, American parachute troops rest on a landing field in Algeria after making the longest airborne invasion of the war. Now, accompanied by British aerial infantry, who well know the North African countryside, they board giant United States transport planes to seize an important military objective in Tunisia. Transports are escorted by squadrons of fast P-38s, American fighter planes. Part of the trip is over the Mediterranean. Now, coming in over the coastline, they're nearing enemy-held territory. Directly above the objective, and the order is bail out. That means jump. Landing in force, they take the vital North African airdrome at Sukalarba, just five minutes before German planes bent upon the same mission were driven off. Another field from which United Nations Air Forces are conducting their combined offensive to drive the Axis from the shores of Africa.